بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So inshallah we'll continue from where we left off last week and the sheikh he was he began discussing the ninth nullifier of the ten nullifiers in the book that we've been reading so far. And that is that the ninth nullifier is whoever believes in, or whoever believes that some people are able to go outside and operate outside of the Sharia, Sharia of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then whoever believes that someone can and whoever does that, they're a, they're, they're a disbeliever. And the Shaykh was brought some ayat verses from last week's lesson. So if you, if you missed that lesson, refer to that as we're going to just continue from where we left off. So the Shaykh, he says, وَلِهَذَا بَعْدَ مَبْعَثِهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ لَا يَسَعُوا أي, إن أي إنسان أن يتعبد لله بغير شريعته أو أن يعمل بأعمال, بأعمال ليست من شريعته فشري فشريعته عليه الصلاة والسلام ناسخة لكل الشرائع التي قبلها وكذلك شريعته عليه الصلاة والسلام عامة للبشرية كلها لأنه عليه الصلاة والسلام بؤث للناس كافة فإذا كانت شريعته بهذه الصفة شاملة لكل خير وعامة لكل, ش... لكل البشرية فإنه لا يسع أي أحد كائنا من, من كان أن, يتب... أن, يت... أن, يت... أن يتعبد لله سبحانه وتعالى بغير شريعته أو يدعي أن له طريقة مخصوصة غير طريقة النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام بل إن كل طريق يدعى أنه موصل, موصل إلى جنات النعيم منج صاحب صاحبه من سخة رب العالمين فهو طريق مسدود لا يوصل إلى الجنة بل يوصل إلى سخة الله وليس هناك طريق يوصل إلى جنات النعيم غير طريق النبي الكريم عليه الصلاة والسلام ولهذا قال الله تعالى وأن هذا صراطي مستقيما فاتبعوه ولا تتبعوا السبل فتفرق بكم عن سبيله ذلك وصاكم به لعلكم تتقون So then the Sheikh says so for this reason, after the sending of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the and his com- and the completion of his mission, then nobody can claim or say that they are able to operate outside of the laws and rules that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with was sent with, or do actions or deeds that are not from. His Sharia, the laws and regulations that he came with, alayhi salatu wasalam. Why? The Shaykh says because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, his Sharia, the laws that Allah sent him with, they abrogate all the previous laws that the previous messengers of prophets came with. They they abrogate those laws, and the law that he has come with is final. 
And the Shaykh says, likewise, that's why the Sharia of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is general. It, it covers everybody. All the jinn and the insan. It covers everybody. It's for everyone. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent to everybody. Everyone. And so, to understand this then, if the Prophet Sallallahu Sharia is like this, as in it's for everybody until the end of time, since his, uh, since him being sent as a Prophet, then if somebody comes after claiming, for example, whoever comes after claiming that they are able to operate outside what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with, then we know that that's not possible due to the evidences and the Shaykh will bring them as well. This is what the Shaykh has mentioned here. And whoever claims as such uh, a specific way, a specific methodology that opposes the methodology and the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then all of these other paths that people call to are paths that are blocked and they earn Allah's anger by being upon those wrong paths. And indeed, the right path is a path that the Prophet wasallam came with and showed us. So following that path gains the pleasure of Allah and following the other ways results in Allah's anger upon that person. And the Shaykh mentions here that this is why Allah revealed in the Quran there's an evidence for this with regards to what's being talked about. That we read in Arabic is from Surah Al-An'am, verse 153. And so if we go to the uh, the meanings in English, then, and verily this, i.e. Allah's commandments mentioned in the above two verses, 151 and 152 of Surah Al-An'am, is my straight path, so follow it. And verily this is my straight path, so follow it. And follow not the other paths, for they will separate you away from his path. This has this he has ordained for you that you may become al mutakun the pious. And so the Shaykh continues. He says, "Wa kullu amalin mahma hasun fi nadri sahibihi wa mahma jamul fi takdiri fa inna Allah subhanahu wa taala la yqbaluhu minhu ma lam yakun mutabi'an lin Nabi al Karim salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi." وَلِهَذَا قَالَ عَلَيْهِ سَلَاتُ وَالسَّلَامُ من عمل عملا ليس عليه أمرنا فهو رد وفي رواية من أحدث في أمرنا هذا ما ليس منه فهو رد ومعنى قوله ومعنى قوله أمرنا أي ديننا و وشرعنا أو شرعنا فكل عمل ليس من شرع النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام فهو مردود على صاحبه. so the sheikh mentions here so every action whether you know how well you know whether it be beautiful or however beautiful it may be of deeds that are being done or the amount or whatever it may be for indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept it unless it is in accordance with the sunnah and the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his example and the Shaykh says this is the reason why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in, in a, a couple of ahadith in two different riwayahs, whoever does an action that is not from our affair, i.e. the deen of Islam, then it is rejected. And whoever invents or comes with a new uh, affair within, in, within the deen that, that has nothing to do with the deen and is not from the deen, it will be rejected. And the Shaykh says the meaning of Amru Nahir is talking about the deen and the legislation that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with. Anything that opposes the deen of Al-Islam, that which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with, is rejected and, is, and it goes back to the person who's, who, 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 who came with it. It's rejected, in other words. Then the Shaykh continues and he says, وَثَبَتَ عَنِ النَّبِي عَلَيْهِ سَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ أَنَّهُ قَالَ لَوْ كَانَ مُوسَى حَيًّا مَا وَسِعَهُ إِلَّا اتِّبَعِي فَكُلُّ مَنْ وجد بعد مبعث عليه الصلاة والسلام لا يسعى إلا أن يتبع النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام فمن ادعى أن أحدا من الناس يسعه أن لا يتبع أن لا يتبع النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام وأن 
يخطط لنفسه طريقة غير طريقته ونهج غير نهجه ويزعم أن ذلك يوصل إلى الله فهو كافر and then the shaykh says and it's been confirmed and affirmed on the authority of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said he said that about Musa he said if Musa was alive he would have to follow the sharia that Allah sent me with that he'd have to follow that which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with so the shaykh he goes on to say then so whoever after the sending of the Prophet whoever finds himself or find someone or finds himself going out of what the Prophet Sallallahu came with and coming with new things and new ways and different ways that are in opposition to the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then whoever claims that they are able to do something like this and they are doing it and they have their own way and their own methodology etc then this person and they say that this can also get you close to Allah or lead you to Allah then this person is a disbeliever <clears throat> the shaykh goes on to say he says wa aidan isa alayhi salam inda ma yanzilu akhir az-zaman min as-sama'i fa yaqtulu al-khinzir wa yaksur as-salib wa yad'u al-jizya la yahkumu bil-injil alladhi unzila alayhi wa inna ma yahkumu bil-qur'ani alladhi unzila ala muhammadin alayhi salatu was salam wa yata'abbadu lillahi jalla wa ala bi shari'ati muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam لا بشريعتي بشريعة التي أنزلت عليه فبعد مبعث صلوات الله وسلامه عليه لا يسوى أي أحد كائن من كان مهما على قدره وارتفعت مكانته أن يتبع أن يتبع شريعة غير شريعته. So then the Sheikh says and also in regards to Jesus Isa عليه السلام when he will descend during the end times from from the heavens when he will descend during the end times and he will he will kill the swine and he will break the cross and he will place the jizya that he he won't rule he won't be ruling with the gospel and that the injil that he came with and that he was sent with Rather, he will be ruling with the Qur'an, the legislature that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent with. And he will worship Allah Jalla wa'ala upon the way and example of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by, by, by following the sharia of the, uh, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with. So after the sending of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever he may be, and whatever their stature and position may be, whether a prophet or not, messenger or not, as in these examples that the Sheikh Hafidullah has brought, they have, they will, as we, as we, as this has been established, they will have to follow the laws and regulations that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent with. The Sheikh goes on to say. وَإِذَا كَانَ الْأَنْبِيَاءُ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَاةُ اللَّهِ وَسَلَامُهُ صَفْوَةً صَفْوَةَ خُلُقِ اللَّهِ خَلْقِ اللَّهِ وَخِيَارِ إِبَادِهِ لَا يَسَعُهُمْ ذَلِكَ مثل ما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام لو كان موسى حي وما وسع إلا التباع أي لا يسع موسى أن يكون على شريعة التي بؤث بها بل لا يسعوا إلا أن يتبع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عليه وموسى عليه الصلاة والسلام كلم الله وهو من أول العزم من الرسل وهم خمسة كما قال الله سبحانه وتعالى وإذ أخذنا من نبينا ميثاقهم ومنك ومن نوح وإبراهيم وموسى وعيسى بن مريم وأخذنا منهم ميثاقا غليظا فهؤلاء الخمسة الذين ذكروا في هذه الآية الكريمة هم أولو العزم من الرسل ومن هؤلاء موسى عليه الصلاة والسلام فالنبي, فالنبي مهما علت مكانته ومنزلته لا يسعه بعد مبث محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إلا أن يتبعه 
وهذا واضح في قول نبي نبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم لو كان موسى حيا ما وسعه الا اتباعي وعيسى عليه السلام عندما ينزل في اخر الزمان انما يعمل بشريعه محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم so then the sheikh says in this paragraph that uh, um, that Prophet Musa alayhi salam is from the Ulul Azam, the mighty messengers, and they are five. And the Sheikh brings uh, this ayah from Surah Al Hazab, where those five mighty messengers are mentioned, and one of them mentioned within the ayah is Musa alayhi salam, and also Isa. And the Sheikh mentions here, and he makes a point that these are from, you know, the mightiest, the loftiest of all the messengers. These five, and at the top of that is our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So, given this, the fact that when, if uh, the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said, if Musa was alive, he would have to follow the regulations and laws that I was sent with, and follow my Sharia. Likewise, the uh, the Sheikh mentions as well that at the end times when Isa alayhi salam, when he descends, he will follow the Sharia of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and all of this is evidence to show. That the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to the people uh, with with the legislation that Allah sent him with uh, in totality for everyone, and it is the it is the last and final revelation and laws and regulations that are, that are uh, that Allah accepts to be followed, and nothing else. Why, as the Sheikh mentioned earlier as well at the start of the lesson, that. The Quran and the laws and the, the Quran and Sunnah, what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with, it abrogates everything that came before it. Wherever the other messengers uh, came with, <coughs> excuse me, before. So it abrogates everything before it. The Shaykh continues, he says, فَهَذِهِ قُلُهَا شُوَاهِدٌ وَدَلَائِلٌ قَاطِئَةٌ وَوَادِحَةٌ أَنَّ أَحَدًا كَائِنًا مَنْ كَانَ لَا يَسَعُ بَعْدَ مَبَثْ بَعْدَ مَبْعَثِ محمد عليه الصلاة والسلام إلا أن يتبع شريعته ولهذا جاء في صحيح مسلم عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أنه قال لا يسمع لا يسمع لا يسمع بيهودي لا يسمع بيهودي ولا نصراني ثم لا يؤمن بالذي جئت به إلا كان حقا على الله أن يدخله النار. So then the Prophet says, so then the Sheikh continues. He says. So all of this, all these are points and evidences, clear-cut evidences, uh, that that a person, anybody, whoever they may be, cannot go and operate outside the laws and regulations and example of the Prophet Wasallam. Whoever the Prophet Wasallam came with the laws and regulations that Allah sent him with, nobody, whoever they may be, can operate outside of it and they can't claim to operate because the evidences are against them as have been established thus far in this lesson by the Shaykh Abdullah. The Shaykh also mentions here and he mentions another hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is uh, from Sahih Muslim where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said that a, a Yehudi uh, not um, a, a Jew or a Christian who hears of me and learns about me and decides not to follow me and believe in me as the final messenger seal of the prophets then uh, and follow my way then uh, then the reality of that person is that Allah will enter them in the hellfire i.e. they will die as disbelievers because they didn't accept they heard about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but they don't accept it they didn't accept it that the uh, that which Allah sent him, they don't accept the message of Al Islam, the da'wah. The Sheikh says, "The Anahu Baada Mabathi Alayhi Salatu Waslam La Majal Lit Taabud Bi Ayi Amalin Hatta Bil Amal Lati Kanat Unzilat Alan Nabiina Min Kabli Shariati Nabiina Salawat Allahi Waslam Waslamu Ali." Why? Because the Sheikh explains. He says, he says that because after the sending of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Muhammad. There is no domain, there is no place for any kind of worship or any kind of deeds or actions except that it follows the way of the Prophet ﷺ and what he came with. I.e. 
if it was a Jew, they can't say, oh, I'm following the Torah, we got the Torah, it's okay. No, not possible. Same thing with the Christians and etc. Why? Because what the Prophet ﷺ came with, he abrogates everything that came before. Then the Shaykh continues, says, بَلْ يَجِبُ أَنْ نَأْتَقِدَ أَنَّ شَرِيعَةَ نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ نَاسِخَةٌ لِلشَّرَاعِ الَّتِي قَبْلَهَا كُلُّهَا فَلَا فَلَا عَمَلْ بِأَيِّ شَرِيعَةٍ بَعْدَ نُزُولِ شَرِيعَةِ مُحَمَّدٍ عَلَيْهِ سَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ وَشَرِيعَتُهُ كَمَا أَنَّهَا نَاسِخَةٌ لِلشَّرَاعِ الَّتِي قَبْلَهَا قَبْلَهُ فَهِيَ بَاقِيَةٌ فَلَا شَرِيعَةٌ إِلَى قِيَامِ سَاعَةِ إِلَّا هِي فَلَيْسَ بَعْدَهُ نَبِي صَلَوَاتُ اللَّهِ وَسَلَامُ عَلَيْهِ مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِنْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَبِمَوْتِهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ إِنْ قَطَعَ وَحْيُ إِنْ قَطَعَ وَحْيُ السَّمَاءِ فَلَا وَحْيَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ لَكِنْ هُنَاكَ نَوْءٌ مِنَ الْوَحْيِ مَوْجُودٌ وَبَاقِي وَبَاقٍ وَهُوَ وَحْيُ الشَّيَاطِينِ وَحْيُ الشَّيَاطِينِ لِأَوْلِيَائِهِمْ وَإِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ لَيُوحُونَ إِلَى أَوْلِيَائِهِمْ لِيُجَادِلُوكُمْ هذا موجود وكم ظل بهذا الوحي أقوام ولما قيل لابن عباس رضي الله عنهما إن مسلمة الكذاب يدعي أنه يوحى إليه قال صدق ثم تلا قول الله سبحانه وتعالى وإن الشياطين لا يوحون إلى أوليائهم ليجادلوكم أي صدق أنه يوحى إليه لكن هذا الوحي الذي يأتيه هذا وحي الشيطان أما الوحي المنزل من الله تبارك وتعالى فهذا انتهى وانقطع بموت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فلا وحي بعد موته صلى الله عليه وسلم So then the shaykh goes on to say Rather it is obligatory that, that we believe that the sharia of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم it is a sharia the legislature that I came the legislature uh, the legislature that I came with the laws I came with they are overriding and they abrogate all of the previous laws from the previous books all of them so there's no deed or action done following a different sharia except that it should be done by following the sharia of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam why? Because the Sharia of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as the Sheikh said, it abrogates all of the Sharia, all the other Sharia, uh, Sharia as the regulations that came before. Because the Sharia of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will remain till the end of time, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in the Hadith that the Sheikh uh, uh, narrated uh, earlier about. Uh, where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If Musa alayhi salam was alive, he would have to follow my way." And when Isa alayhi salam descends from the heavens at, in the end times, he will follow my Sharia, the Sharia of the Prophet of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he will live by the laws of Al Islam that which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with. And the Sheikh says, by the death of the Prophet, when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away then that's when the uh, the revelation from Allah was cut off. However, that is heavenly revelation from Allah Jalla wa'ala. That is cut off when the Prophet Sallallahu passed away. However, there is a different type of revelation that the Shaykh mentions that hasn't been cut off. And he says that revelation that has not been cut off is the, uh, the whispering of the shaitan. How when the shayateen come to the people, to their helpers and their protectors and their helpers and their friends, and they reveal and they uh, whisper to them. This type of wahi or revelation is still around because the shayateen are still around and they are, you know, uh, whispering to each other and the helpers and their friends and protectors. The Sheikh says this is present 
and the sheikh says how many people and how many of or, uh, how many people have been misled by this kind of revelation uh, the shaitani the shaitani revelation and when uh, the sheikh mentions uh, uh, when it was said to ibn abbas may allah be pleased with him when uh, when it was said to him that musaylima uh, musaylima uh, the liar when he claimed that he was receiving revelation Ib, uh, uh, abbas Ib, ibn abbas said to the person who said this to him conveyed this message he said that's true then he recited this verse from the quran wa inna shayatina la yuhuna ila awliyaihim liyujadilukum and this is from surah al-an'am and this is what ibn abath radiyallahu anhuma mentioned in reply to that he said it's true and he mentioned this and the meaning of this in english if you go to this surah al-an'am verse 121 and certainly the devils do inspire their friends from mankind to dispute with you this is what he said and this is why because this is what the sheikh is mentioning here that the revelation of the, the devils yeah uh, is still here to inspire their friends whoever takes them up as friends then the sheikh says that he continues and he says that this is a wahi of the shaitan as for the revelation that uh, that descends that comes from allah jalla wa ala then this has been cut off and has finished when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away and so there is no wahi from allah jalla wa ala after the death of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as we know he's the seal of the prophet uh, of the prophets and messengers then the sheikh he continues and he says fa hadhihi kulluha shawahid wa dalail wa dhiha wa ghayra kathir min fi kitab allah wa sunnati nabi alayhi salatu wa salam wa dhihatun wa dhihatu dalala ala annahu la yasau la yasau ay ay ahad kaina min man kan an ya'mala bi shari'atin ghayr shari'atin nabi sallallahu wa sallam alayhi then the sheikh says that these all of these points that, uh, that have been made and the vast evidences that have been brought forth the clear and vast evidences that are there and brought forth here in uh, with regards to this topic then it shows us that nobody can go out and operate outside the laws and regulations that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent with and so whoever does that or claims that they can do that and does that is a disbeliever and leaves the fold of al-islam then the sheikh quotes the uh, start of the lesson again the main title of it which is what we just mentioned just now and then he goes on to say wa hadhihi shubhat shubhatun atharuha fi hadha al-bab ba'du a'immat al-batil wa du'at al-dhalal wa arbab at-turuq al-fasida al al munhalla al-munharifa an din Allah التي يتعبد اصحابها باعمال ليست من شريعه الله ولا من دينه من دينه فاثار بعض فاثار بعض ارباب الطرق الفاسده الفاسده الضاله المنحرفه ان من الناس من يسعه ان يتعبد او ان ياتي باعمال ليست من شريعه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عليه وقالوا مثل ما واسع واسع الخضر الخروج عن شريعة موسى فالخضر كان موجودا زمن زمن موسى عليه السلام والتقى به وأتى بأعمال وكان عنده علوما ليست عند موسى عليه السلام وعند عيد موسى عليه السلام علوم ليست عنده فقالوا أن من الناس من يسعى الخروج عن شريعة محمد عليه السلام والسلام مثل ما so then the sheikh goes on to say that that this affair and this doubt that has spread where people say where some of the groups of misguidance and people of misguidance and so-called imams of misguidance and the callers to evil and misguidance then some of these you will see you may have seen yourself or you may have read or heard or you may see this in the future but however this happens 
and the Sheikh mentions it here. He says that there's a there's a doubt that affects the people uh, by way of these uh, m- um, misguided uh, callers and uh, imams, uh, where they are upon clear deviance and far away from the Deen of Allah Jalla uh, wa And those people, they you know uh, they worship. You know, uh, uh, and they do deeds that are not from the uh, Sharia of the uh, of Allah, and nor from His Deen. And so the Sheikh mentions here that some of these uh, are the heads of these uh, organizations, groups, and ways, uh, the mis uh, misguided ways. Then these people they say to others, they say they are from people that are able to. Uh, there are people who are able to uh, operate outside the laws and regulations uh, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with, and they can practice types of worship and actions that are not from the Sharia of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and they come with this doubt that um, they bring their falsified evidence that has no context or anything. They'll come with this to try and fool the people. They'll say, "Oh, like how Khadir." Uh, uh, operated outside the Sharia of Musa, and the uh, and the Sheikh continues to say what the, what the things that they say. So they say like, uh, you know, Khadir, uh, he was present at the time of Musa alayhi salam, and he met him, and he carried out deeds and actions as mentioned in Surah Al Kahf, uh, uh, and you know he had uh, and was knowledge with him that Musa alayhi salam didn't have, and likewise Musa had knowledge with uh, himself that uh, Khadir didn't have. And then they say that, and from people, and from the people, there are there are those who can operate outside the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, just like how Khadir operated outside the Sharia of Musa. This is this is the doubt that they come with to try and trick the people and push their falsehood. And the Sheikh continues. He says, "Wahadi shubha zaifa al batila jaluha tukatan lahum." لترويج ظلالهم وباطلهم وبدعهم ومحدثاتهم وأقائدهم الباطلة التي ليست في القرآن ولا في السنة <تصفيق> فأدخلوا كل باطلهم هذا تحت ها كل باطلهم هذا تحت هذا الباب أن من الناس من يسعى أن يخرج عن شريعة مثل ما وسع الخدر أن يخرج عن شريعة موسى فجعلوا أعمالهم الباطلة مماثلة لأعمال الخدر الصالحة. Then the Sheikh continues to explain this to us and he says that so this doubt that these people are spreading this falsified fraudulent uh, uh, way of theirs and doubt that they spread they do this to to be to make a way to be able to promote their false beliefs and misguidance and their religious innovations, their bid'ah and their newly invented affairs within the deen that they bring and their newly invented belief system that they want to push and which which is not from the Quran nor it's from the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So they enter the these falsified beliefs uh, and newly invented matters. They have nothing to do with the religion of Allah Jalla wa Ala, uh, and they put it under this uh, topic of uh, under this heading uh, uh, where they say, "Oh, Khadir came and you know he did things and uh, uh, and he met uh, Musa and uh, he didn't operate. He operated outside the Sharia of Musa." They bring this doubt, which has absolutely nothing to do with their case. It doesn't really help them, but obviously somebody who is uh, uh, not knowledgeable with regards to this doubt could be misled easily. So the Sheikh says that they bring this and they're trying to, uh, in the uh, within the same breath, they're obviously tainting uh, Khadr's image as well because when he did what he did with, as mentioned, Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Kah, he followed the orders of Allah Jalla wa'ala and he was given that knowledge by Allah Jalla wa'ala and he did those actions, righteous actions. So then the Sheikh continues says, Shaitanin. بين الهدى والباطل والحق والضلال والكفر والإيمان وشبه أئمة الضلال الذين يتبعونهم بالخدر عليه السلام. 
So you've got, the Sheikh says, in the end, you've got two groups. You've got these righteous people that are being mentioned, like Khadir, uh, Musa, righteous people, of course. And they're being compared to uh, shayateen, devils, and the people who operate and follow their desires and are people of misguidance and are people of kufr. And, they, and these people are comparing the people of iman and guidance and truth with the people of falsehood and misguidance and disbelief. They can't compare, but they do it anyway. And they compare this wrongly, of course. And the Sheikh is making that point. The Sheikh says, وَدَّعُوا لِأَئِمَّةُ الظَّلَالِ لَذِينَ يَتَبْعُونَهُمْ أَنَّ عِنْدَهُمْ عِلْمًا لِلدُّنْيَا أي يأتيهم بوحي خاص من الله ليس موجود في في الكتاب ولا موجود ولا موجود في في السنة وقالوا عن أهل الشريعة المتبعين لسنة النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام هؤلاء يأخذون دينهم ميتا الميت أما أئمتنا فيأخذون دينهم وحيا من الله مباشرة يأخذونه من اللوح المحفوظ عن الحي الذي لا يموت so pay attention to this. So the Sheikh, he says, these people, they go on to say that that these uh, these misguided imams, they say that we have knowledge of the dunya, specific knowledge that Allah has, they claim that Allah has revealed to them uh, that is not in the Quran, nor it's in the Sunnah. Only they've got it. Allah revealed it to them specifically. This is what they're saying. And they say, about the people of the Sharia, the people who follow the Quran and the Sunnah and the Deen of Islam as it should be followed, they say about them, oh, these guys, as in the, the, the proper Muslims, they say, oh, these, these guys, or oh, these people, they take their Deen from, uh, from, uh, from dead people, from people who passed away. As for our Imams, then they take, they take their Deen from uh, from the one who's uh, alive, as in uh, the person who's claiming that, oh, they're still receiving direct revelation from Allah. And, and they say, oh, we're taking this direct revelation and it's, and, it's, and we're taking it from the, the preserved tablet, the Allah al-Mahfud, uh, from somebody who's alive and isn't dead. This is the lies that they come with, or they try to come with this deception of theirs. The Shaykh continues, he says, بال مهات مهاتفات والمكاشفات والوحي المباشر والقراءة المباشرة من اللوح المحفوظ لا غير ذلك من الكذب والافتراء والقول على الله وفي دينه وفي كتابه بغير علم بل بالكذب والبهتان المبين وترتب على ذلك فساد عريض وظلال مبين وأظل كثير وظل عن سواء السبيل. so then the sheikh mentions that so this is the way, or, 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 um, or, or was this is how they describe these misled decep people of deception and deceived ones. This is how they describe the people who follow the deen, the correct way. They say, oh, you know, the person uh, is, you know, you know, as in as mentioned in the hadith, as we hear, hadathana fulan and fulan and fulan and fulan ila Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As we say, because obviously the correct way. Is that we say that such and such said, such and such said, name them in the chain of hadith, in the chain of narration, and we say that the Prophet said, and then that's the hadith that we say after that, the hadith of the Prophet that was said. This is how it should be done. However, they, these, the, the misguided ones, these de deceptive and, uh, ones who deceive others, they claim for themselves that they have another way of receiving uh, laws. And receiving legislature from Allah Jalla wa'ala by way of direct connection, calls, being able to speak to Allah, uh, being able to read from the preserved tablet directly themselves. All of this, uh, all of these lies, uh, blatant lies upon Allah Jalla wa'ala. Uh, 
uh, and obviously they say all this without knowledge. They're just coming out with their own uh, lies uh, and 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 fraud, fraudulent ways, and they're just complete lies. And the Sheikh mentions that this is obviously complete misguidance and a clear misguidance, and they've obviously misguided many, and they've obviously misguided themselves and far away from the right path. The Sheikh goes and says, "Wahada kulluhu utiya fihi haulai min wahi shaitan." لأن هذا الذي هم عليه كله من وحي الشيطان أخرجهم بهذه الطريقة من دين الله تبارك وتعالى وشيطان له طريقة تانية يخرج يخرج به من الناس عن الحق والهدى بعد أن يعرف بعد أن يعرف ميولات الإنسان ويشام قلبه ففي ضوء ذلك يحرفه عن الصراط المستقيم من أحد الطريقين إما طريق الشهوة أو so then this is important to, uh, uh, to take a note of as well. The Sheikh brings important principle here. He goes on to say then that all of these lies that these uh, uh, misguided ones uh, tell the people and misguide them by way of these lies and clear disbelief, then where did they receive this revelation from? They receive it from the Shaitan. And the Sheikh says that the Shaitan whispers to these people and they come with these lies and the sheikh mentions a principle he says that the shaitan he has two ways he has two ways to uh, uh, make someone leave the truth and guidance he has two approaches and methods the first one is will be by making the person follow the desires so making them following, uh, to make them follow their desires, as in to make them sin and do all sorts of evil deeds uh, and make them follow their desires, that's one path that the shaitan takes. The second way or path that the shaitan also takes is by bringing about a doubt within the person's heart within regards to their religion. So this is the way that the shaitan, uh, the two-pronged attack that the shaitan takes. And obviously... The uh, uh, being upon a doubt in your religion is far worse than following your desires. This is the one that's worse out of the two. They're both bad, but this, but the one in terms of being uh, doubtful in your religion, leading you to do all kinds of uh, 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 misguided things and mislead others, then this is far worse. The Sheikh goes on to say, Wahaulai. ألقى عليهم هذه شبهة فأهل فأهلكتهم وأرادتهم وأظلتهم عن دين الله وحرفتهم عن سواء عن سواء السبيل وجاء هؤلاء بكلمة المشهورة عنهم أن الدين له ظاهر وباطن له حقيقة وشريعة وشريعة هي التي تتناقل في الكتب تؤخذ من القرآن تؤخذ من أحاديث النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام والحقيقة هذه يقولون مثل مثل ما كان عليه الخدر وأنهم يسعون ما وصل الخدر بعلوم لدنية يأخذونها من الله وحيا مباشرة أو يكاشفون أو يهاتفون بها أو يتلقونها من اللوح المحفوظ مباشرة سيدان الشيك يشاهد that these people then you know they they spread the uh, this doubt and by way of this they, they they destroy themselves and the people who end up falling into this doubt and and they destroy themselves and they destroy their their own religion that they were upon and they they deviate from the correct path and these people they, they come these misguided ones they come with uh, with a, a phrase of theirs or a saying of theirs and they say that the deen, the, the, uh, this is obviously false, but the Sheikh says what, the, what, the, what they spread and what they say. They say that the deen, it has what is apparent and it also has what is hidden and uh, a reality and, uh, and the sharia. And what they mean by this is that the sharia, it is um, basically that, uh, that which is found in the Qur'an uh, and that's taken from the Quran and it's taken from the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the hakika, the reality they say about that is like, for example, the reality is uh, uh, the likes of 
uh, the example of Al-Khadr, obviously this is wrong what they're coming with. And that they say that they are able to, like how Khadr did, they're able to operate outside the Sharia uh, of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that which he brought. And that they are a, and they and, and they say that they take from Allah directly. They take direct revelation from Allah, and that they, you know, they they are in direct communication with Allah, and they hear what Allah says, and they can and they also claim that they can read from the preserved tablet the Allah al Mahfuz directly. And all of this is lies, and this is the the uh, uh, the rubbish and the lies, uh, uh, clear lies and deviances that they come to trick the people. And to establish their own way and their own ways and means uh, uh, and their own um, uh, purposes and and um, ideals. The Sheikh continues. He says, "Okay, we're almost finished. Another five minutes or so." The Sheikh says, "Wahuna uakid ala amrin la budda min taqid alaihi ala wahua an haulai fi'lan yismauna hitaf wa fi'lan yuhisuna." بتنزل ويحسون بشيء يلقى في صدورهم وهذا كله من عمل الشيطان هل أنبئكم على من تنزل الشياطين تنزل على كل أفاق أثيم so let's just go there to this ayah that the sheikh brings and this is from surah al-shu'ara verse 221 to 222 so if we have a look at that now we will see 221 what the Sheikh is bringing here. The meaning of which of those two verses is, Shall I inform you, O people, upon whom the shaitan devils descend upon? They descend on every lying one who tells lies and sinful person. So the Sheikh, he says this, and he says that I want to just make sure and establish this point. And that in actual fact that the people who say that, oh, they hear, they have direct, uh, they hear the uh, revelation from Allah Jalla wa'ala, and they feel this and all that, you know, and, and the examples of these misguided ones, then in actual fact, all the hearing is the whispers of the shayateen. As Allah Jalla wa'ala mentioned here in Surah Al-Shu'ara, verse 221 and 222, this is what's actually happening in reality of these misguided deviant people. The Sheikh says, "Fafihi tanazul, tanazul ashayatinu, wata watuqtihim ashaya wa umur ashaya wa umur ala anha wahi, wat watahatifuhum bi ashaya liyadillu liyadilla ha ulai aimmat alzalal, waliyadilla aydan min waraihim aqwamun wa aqwam. Wa ma hadi turq al munshqa." الضالة المنحرفة إلا من زيغ الشيطان وإذلاله للناس عن سواء السبيل ملئت بالكفر البين ملئت بالإلحاد بالقول بقول وبوحدة الوجود وبالاتهاد ملئت بالأذكار والأعمال والتلاسم والاتقادات الباطلة ملئت بالتفلت من قيود الشريعة والانغماس في الظنوب والكبائر حتى الأمور حتى الأمور التي جاء النهي عنها صراحة بأدلة بأدلة واضحة كالنهي عن الزنا النهي عن شرب الخمر النهي عن السرقة إلى آخره جميع هذه النصوص الدعو أنها هذه للمحجوبين عن الحقيقة أما الذين وقفوا على الحقيقة التي يدعون أنها مثل الحقيقة التي أكرم الله بها الخادرة فهؤلاء تسقط عنهم مثل هذه الأعمال ولا تلزمهم ولهذا وقع فساد عريض بسبب هذه الشبهة أن من الناس من يسع أن يخرج عن دين الله جل وعلا كما وصل خدق أن يخرج أن يخرج عن شريعة موسى عليه السلام. So then the Sheikh he goes on to say that this descending of this revelation that they claim is actually it is revelation, but who is it from? It's from the devils, it's from the shayateen. The shayateen they give them things, they give, they talk to them about affairs and give them information, 
and they say that it's why it's not wahi, it's not revelation. And they come and they and they mislead these people, they mislead them upon this misguidance, and they mislead others by way of them. And so many people and groups of people become misled because of this. And all of this that these deviant people are upon. It's all misguidance and deviance and deviation that the shaitan has come with to deviate those people and make them go astray from the straight path. All of the stuff that these people talk about, all of the things that they talk about, these misguided ones, you come to know that they are full of disbelief, clear disbelief. They are full of atheism. They're full of um, uh, principles that are in opposition to our deen and what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with, and all kinds of uh, practices that are in opposition to the deen of of, of al Islam, uh, and in opposition to the tawheed of Allah jalla wa ala. And the Sheikh mentioned some examples here. Like the atheism they'll come with, the superstitions that they will come with, the shirk that they will come with, uh, all the shirkiyat and all the different types of shirk that they will come with, um, you know, uh, 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 things that involve magic and relate to shirk and bid'ah and all of these things that are in opposition to what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with. And this is what the Sheikh mentions, and he mentions some examples as he did, and he says all of these, then all of this, it is. What these people are upon, they spread the misguidance. And then they say, and try to bring an evidence, which is the doubt, which the Sheikh mentioned, that they'll say, they'll claim that, uh, just uh, they'll claim and they'll, they'll bring an evidence saying, look, Khadr uh, did it at the time of Musa, but it's got nothing to do with what they do. It has absolutely no connection really, as the Sheikh explained. And then he mentions it again here, and this is what they say to try and mislead the people. Then the Shaykh, he says, finally here, before we wrap up, he says, وَهَذِي شُبْحَ وَتَنْذِيرُ تَنْذِيرُ عَمَلْ هَاُولَى بِعَمَلْ خَذِرُ تَنْذِيرٌ فَاسِدٌ لِأُمُورُ وَأَسْبَابُ كَثِيرًا جِدًّا بَيَّنَهَا أَهْلُ الْإِلْمُ وَمِنْهُمْ شَيْخُ الْإِسْلَامِ إِبْنُ تَيْمِيَةِ لَهُ أَجْوِبَ لَهُ أَجْوِبَةٌ مُخْتَصِرَةٌ وَمُفَصَّلَةٌ عَلَى هَذِي شُبْحَ وَكَذَلِكَ لِغَيْرِهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْإِلْمُ So, inshallah, the Shaykh, he says here, this uh, view of theirs is absolutely incorrect in opposite in opposition to the deen of Allah Jalla wa'ala and the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and it's total corruption that they come with and the evidence that they quote about Khadr and Musa it has no connection no context and can't be used as evidence for what they do and it's uh, misplaced and the Sheikh mentions that there, there are tremendous amounts of evidences just for this doubt and he mentions one of the sheikh uh, in the, from the past, Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, and he says that Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah has answered, uh, uh, has answers, has answered this doubt and clarified this doubt and brought evidences, many evidences in summary as well as uh, in longer prose and writing, um, debunking this um, doubt uh, that these misguided ones bring, and. Uh, the Sheikh mentions that uh, the people of knowledge talk about this on a regular basis with regards to this doubt. And inshallah, uh, he wraps, uh, we will we'll wrap up there. And inshallah, next week's lesson is where the Sheikh will bring some of those evidences uh, for our benefit as well. And we'll explain those uh, inshallah next week. Barakallah fikum. So inshallah, we'll stop there uh, as we're getting on now, almost to an hour. And we'll continue this lesson next week, uh, 8 o'clock Friday, inshallah. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت وأستغفرك وأتوب إليك وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته